everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a 10 by 10. I have been so inspired by some of my favorite YouTubers, Christina from Style Apotheca, as well as the Anna Edit doing her 10 by 10. Now, this time of year, if you're tuning in, any time of year, that's totally cool, but it is the transition from summer into early fall. So I have picked essentially 10 items that I will mix and match into 10 fall outfits that I would 100% wear. Now, I have been around the block when it comes to the blogging world and I have definitely taken photos and things and put things on my body to photograph and then take them off and just put my sweats on after. So these items are things that I legitimately grab for every day. These are things I would 100% be wearing. And the mix and matchable pieces will be anything from a sweater, a coat, a blouse, to a pair of pants. And then as well, I included the shoes. And there are two pairs of shoes. This was not easy, cutting this down into only 10 items, but looking at them, I'm like, yeah, you know what? Those are the 10 things I grab for all the time. The things that aren't included in the 10 by 10, the specific number, are things like bags, accessories, and hats, and then anything jewelry-wise that I could use to jazz these up. But let's get you introduced to all of these 10 items. Okay, we're set. I will say we're fighting golden hour here. <laughs> The sun is setting, the battery on my things is going down, but you know what, we are all set to go. I'm totally fine with it. So the first thing I want to show you, this is a jacket from Wilfred, and I bought this at Aritzia. I believe it's called the Jenna or Gemma jacket. I will have that below. But holy cow, I wear this thing all the time. The best thing about it is one, it's warm. Two, you don't have to zip anything. It's a button up and it goes down pretty lengthly. And it's kind of that hybrid between like a sweater and a jacket and as well the neutral tone in it. Not only is this the perfect jacket that I have loved for so long. I bought this as well for both of my quote unquote sister-in-laws. I'm not married, but Scott's sister, as well as my, my brother's wife for um, their birthdays. And it's just the best because if you're traveling as well, I mean, a lot of us aren't right now, obviously, but when we get back to traveling, this will be something I shove in my suitcase for sure because it is so, so, so multi-dimensional. And that's something that I'm gonna show you in this whole 10 by 10. The next thing, this is a jacket I have had for a couple years, and this video, guys, like, this is not to say, hey, go buy this, you'll be happier, go get this, you'll be able to make this outfit. This is like finding things that are like this, or looking in your closet and being like, you know what, that jacket is kind of like the one she's showing me, and I think it would mix well into this outfit. So this isn't to say go buy a bunch of things, because this jacket, I got it from Club Monaco during their sale, because, Club Monaco, beautiful items, but they are a little pricey. And um, I'm absolutely still so in love with it than the day that I bought it. I bought this about two years ago and it's a little moto racer jacket and it's in like an olive green color. And it's just so adorable. It's the perfect layering piece. So a moto jacket, such a must have when it comes to your fall wardrobe, if you got the budget and if you can find one. Now the next up, I have a couple of jean jackets, but this is my favorite one. This is also from Club Monaco. I believe I bought it around the same sale, um, which is a good note. Like they do have quite a few sales. And when you purchase something from a store like Club Monaco, you're looking for something that can go the extra mile, right? So this jean jacket, I love that it has that little sheep detail on the collar there. And it, again, is such a perfect layering piece. And because it has that extra detail, it kind of creates that illusion of having like an accessory or bumping up that outfit. So I love that one. Next up, this is a Babaton dress, but I'm gonna show you a couple ways that we can dress this down and make it look a little bit different. Um, I had been lusting over this one for a while and then it had finally gone on sale. Now I know that we will be past Labor Day by the time this one hits, but, it's a bit of a cream color and I really have never followed that no white after Labor Day anyways, so screw that. I love the little details, the little flingers on it, and it does have that nice little belt there that we might add a little bit of detail later. I could not, could not do a 10 by 10. I think that every single 10 by 10 I ever do from here on out will have a white collared shirt and this is 
my fave currently. It's a linen Wilfred. It's an extra small. It's oversized. And I got this for the summer to have a long sleeve during those kind of warmer days, not necessarily the extremely hot days, but because it is lightweight. However, this is a bit of a thicker linen and I knew that I'd be able to transition it into fall. There's just something so classic about having a white button up and it doesn't matter what kind of white button up you have in your closet, you can definitely include it in your 10 by 10. This one, some people could argue because it has the shell buttons, that's maybe more of a summer feel, but nah, meh, carry that over to the fall. I recently picked up this black turtleneck, which I've also been obsessing over a little bit. The sun is kind of creating a little bit of a tough go there, but can you see that it has that beautiful detail? around the neck it really creates a beautiful silhouette really nice and soft i ended up finding this one at winners and one of my favorite details about it the sleeves kind of bell out and if you are anyone who believes that your fashion was more suited towards the 60s just like me um, or the 70s that's gonna be for you so for pants i got these last season at Aritzia, they are Babaton. These ones are in a size four and they kind of bell out a little bit. And you can see that they have that detail, that pattern. I think that every woman should have a pair of these in their wardrobe. They are so flattering. Again, with kind of that more 70s, 60s style, they do come up higher, so they're high-waisted. They have a beautiful back pocket detail it's not exactly a pocket it's just a detail they have a beautiful pleat and the color in this is just so neutral can be mixed and matched with so many things which we are going to do i love those pants i grab for them all the time and it's just so nice sometimes to wear a pant like that and go out and you could just have that with i mean the turtleneck on which we're going to show you we <laughs> which i'm going to show you and you just feel put together you just feel good and I wear those to work all of the time. Next up, I recently purchased these. They are jeans from Denim Forum and I'm trying to remember what the name of, of this specific, oh, the Farah, yeah, the Farah. And the reason why I like them, it's kind of a new style kind of thing because I do love the skinny silhouette, especially when you have high boots on, which I think I'll incorporate a little bit later in the fall. I don't have that in this 10 by 10. But with these Farah, they're wide leg. So that's going to look so cool with the boots that we have chosen. And the boots that are going to be incorporated in this look are my black Doc Martens and these gray Steve Madden sock boots. So these are the two boots that I have chosen to mix and match. One that's a little fancier, one that I feel like I am just going to conquer the world in. And they are extremely diverse and uh, mix and matchable. As for accessories and the extras that are going to be in this little 10 by 10, I've included my Tory Burch just side bag. This also has a chain in it. I just had the chain wrapped up in there for when I actually have it um, in my closet. So there you go, that little side bag that you can mix and match a little bit fancier. And then for a day-to-day -day bag, so this is the best purchase that I made in the past two years, hands down. It is just the little Lululemon uh, fanny pack. And I know that they switch around these styles all the time, but I will try to find something similar because I wear this all the time. I don't wear it as a fanny pack. Again, I wear it as the side satchel, but I will be showing you that. And for hat options, I have a little navy beret just to add as a detail. And I just recently got these two hats from Lack of Color. And we're going to be doing something a little bit extra with these on this channel. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see kind of how we style these up a little bit more. But this is going to bump up these looks for sure. So I wanted to include those in today's video. And uh, why don't we get to the styling part of things? I feel like naturally the first outfit in any 10 by 10 is the one that people feel the most comfortable in. This is the all black outfit, this turtleneck. I love it, it is so comfy. And I ended up kind of breaking up the black just a touch with a belt there. And then of course the combat boots. So 
This one is a go-to if I had to choose an outfit to wear every day, it would probably be this one, just to avoid decision fatigue in the morning. The next one is also one of my absolute favorites. This little linen top, like I just love the way that it drapes. Adding a beret gives this a little Parisian inspired style. And then with the little combat boots as well, I feel like I'm just a little art student that is about to go walk around petty and just take in the sights, especially with that little satchel bag. Now changing up the hat look, I ended up going for this little prairie market outfit that I kind of named. And I named it that because I love the way that denim looks against white. I always think that just looks so crisp, so nice, and then color blocking, just still keeping the black on the bottom makes it so easy. Adding a little bit more jewel to this, having that side satchel bag with the chain really helps, but any side satchel bag really works. You definitely don't need to have the chain on there. Just a monochromatic one might look a little bit less distracting. And then of course some earrings. Now the next one is also inspired by a bit of Parisian style, I would say. It's got the sock booties as well as this dress that I have loved for a very long time. I love the fact that you can cinch in the waist and I wanted to bump this up just a touch. I call this my monochromatic look because with this capsule wardrobe, this little 10 by 10, the jacket that I've selected matches this dress perfectly. So if you can kind of add a couple things to your closet or look around your closet and see what's matching, when in doubt, go with that because that will go really well together. Now the autumnal color is totally coming in clutch here. I know that this is a pretty neutral 10 by 10 and they normally are, but the color that I'm adding in this 10 by 10 is that green. So with the sock booty, the dress, and then the green moto jacket matching the hat perfectly is another way that you kind of just draw everything together. And then with that drawstring, I bunch all of the extra fabric right in the back. My dress pants, I love these pants so much. They go really well with a turtleneck as well. This is the perfect business casual look. Now, I love the way that the sock booties look, especially with the wide leg pants at the bottom. And just pulling your hair back with a turtleneck, that is going to make you just look like you are ready to take on the day. The little side satchel bag, hands free. And then I have this little tortoise claw clip to just hold my hair back. No elastics required in this one. And you could also do a half hold. I added this cozy layer, still keeping this as outfit number six, but the cozy layer, obviously, if those autumnal vibes come in full force and it is a little bit chillier outside, you always want to have a backup and layers are perfect. Speaking of perfect layers, this is one of my favorite slash most unexpected outfits. I ended up seeing this style from Valeria here on YouTube and on Instagram, and she had paired a white collared shirt over top of a turtleneck. And in my head, I was like, this just shouldn't work, but it does. Like, I love it. No need for anyone else's opinions here. Like, it's just the way that something makes you feel, whether you decide you're gonna wear it or not. I call this one my Pinterest fall look because, come on, this is the look that you see on Pinterest every single time you type in the keywords, fall style. Just monochromatic in black and then adding an autumnal color, whether that be a burnt orange or a green or a yellow or a red just adding in that extra layer. And I wanted to show you as well, in this one I didn't tuck in the turtleneck to the jeans, and I thought that that just added kind of like a cozier looking layer because you could see the knit at the bottom of the moto jacket, opposed to it kind of running up the bottom of the jeans. Now, I love this one because the title of it was so fun to come up with, Autumnal Artisan. Doesn't this look like I am off to paint something <laughs> around town or walk around? I love that open layer. This is that dress that was on a little bit earlier and this is a way that you can style a dress that is fully buttoned down. You just make it into a full layer. Now also kind of switching that out for a warmer long layer, it's pretty much the exact same look but it just depends on what the temperature is outside and that beret I think just adds such a beautiful soft layer to this look and just a little accessory. Tucking your hair behind your ear also really shows off those earrings and just creates a cute look. Prairie Chic, this one, number 10, with that hat again, the jean layer and then keeping it all black. Another very simple look that just works, even though technically it's jean on jean and could be a Canadian tuxedo, the black jean with the lighter jean jacket I think just works. So these were my 10 looks out of our capsule wardrobe. And you know what? I think we did pretty well. So my friends, that is it. 
that is all. Thank you so much for joining me for this video if you made it this far. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell, you can join along for all of Utober content, which is a video every single freaking day in October. I hope you like these outfits. Uh, let me know which one you liked the most below. I certainly did find some looks that I will be rocking over the next little while. Bye. I still believe I'll see you again.